happy new year everyone and welcome to diksha karnataka youtube channel so if you are wondering sir how our year can be happy on 3rd of january we have our most difficult physics pre board exam then please don't cry i am here to help you out so today i am going to give you all the important questions that are going to come in your pre board exam so that should be a reason for everyone to be happy and also if you want to download the pdf of this video don't forget to join our whatsapp channel the link of the whatsapp channel given in the description section of this video also if you are watching for the first time don't forget to subscribe to our channel because a lot of lot of new year gifts are going to come in your way uh, through our channel so subscription is must and joining the whatsapp channel is also a must so without any delay let us start so first of all what we are going to discuss today we are going to discuss all the chapters most important questions that is going to come in your pre board now all these questions will definitely not come but if you have finished all these questions then you should be definitely be scoring for 60 plus in your uh, pre board exam right now let us start uh, so and also we are going to discuss two three marker and five marker derivation based questions for numericals and for mcqs you can check our long videos that we have done where all the important numericals as well as mcqs done by aditi ma'am is also available in our channel you can go and check that out so first electric charges and field very important chapter 10 to 11 uh, marks are going to come so what are all the important questions state and explain gauss's law in electrostatic uh, write coulomb's law in vector form explain the terms or uh, state and explain coulomb's law so these two questions are almost same so you can consider to be if you study one of them other one can automatically be answered so this is second question sketch the electric uh, field lines of force now i have given some example of q less than zero q greater than zero it can be something q uh, some other for forms as well for example electric dipole uh, but remember that this is a uh, sketching that means you have to draw and q less than zero means negative charge q greater than zero means positive charge define electric dipole moment mention its si you unit torque on an electric dipole find the expression for torque uh, acting on an electric dipole properties of electric charges properties of electric field lines these two are the most important questions uh, and almost uh, every year one of them is definitely going to come okay next electric field due to a dipole on the axis and equatorial plane uh, electric field due to a charge straight long wire electric field outside a charged spherical shell so these are the three questions three derivations that might come from this chapter now remember from this chapter and the second chapter electric potential and capacitance one derivation and one numerical will come but it is difficult to predict from which chapter you are going to get the numerical from which chapter you are going to get the uh, derivation so i request you study all the derivations from both the chapters second chapter has very less number of derivations uh, anyway let's see the questions equipotential surface based question Def uh, definition shape of different cases and properties of equipotential surface both are important so shape uh, of equipotential surface for a point charge okay shape of equipotential surface for constant electric field so these are the some standard shapes okay definition uh, uh, is obviously you know properties are also very very important based on that you might get an mcq as well capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor uh, combination of capacitors uh, expression for different two cases expression for energy stored in a capacitor energy density these are also very very important potential energy of a dipole in an uh, external electric field uh, polar and non-polar molecules their differences definitions etc is also very very important now in terms of uh, in terms of derivation the expression for electric potential at the point due to a point source charge is very very important this is the one of the most important derivation from this chapter the second derivation electric potential due to a dipole you can skip okay you don't need to study it uh, if you have not studied it you can skip it but if you have studied it you can go and revise it once otherwise these are all the questions next uh, before going to the next chapter i just wanted to uh, remind you that our abhyas k set 2026 uh, test series is live so if you want to purchase it the price is only 14.99 and you are going to get 35 kcet test papers uh, and also you will get chapter wise kcet pyqs for practice okay 
real KCT exam pattern and timing. So you will have to answer the questions in a given time slot. So that is uh, what uh, makes you prepare for your KCT exam. So don't skip uh, Abhyas KCT test series. The test paper was recommended by toppers uh, and you can see uh, some of them uh, featuring over here. So this is the one of the most uh, sought after test series. So if you have not yet purchased, it is available for $14.99. Go and purchase it today. The link of that is again given in the description. Now let's Let's continue to the next chapter electric current very important chapter from this chapter you are going to uh, you are expecting one uh, numerical question as well as one derivation so both will come from this single chapter uh, in two three marker section drift velocity mobility relaxation time limitations of ohm's law difference between current and current density resistance and resistivity these are the important concepts uh, based on this uh, many varieties of questions are going to come so if you have prepared them you are uh, safe now five marks derivation cells in series and parallel and wheatstone bridge they are the most important uh, questions uh, so uh, these two are the most important derivations from this chapter uh, wheatstone bridge came last year so the, my prediction is cells in series or cells in parallel might be slightly more important but for pre-board wheatstone bridge is also important you should not skip that okay and based on any one of the concept as well as Kirchhoff's laws you are going to get one question uh, one numerical question from this chapter as well next chapter is moving charges and magnetism another important chapter again 10 to 11 marks is going to come from this chapter uh, Lorentz force angular frequency radius of revolution for charged particle uh, important derivation small derivation two marker three marker derivation force on a current carrying wire biosabers law that is uh, so force on a current carrying wire and biosabers law both, uh, this is bil uh, sin theta this is uh, biosabers law so those are important ampere circuital law again important galvanometer to ammeter and uh, am galvanometer to voltmeter the most important question from this chapter uh, again very very important super important magnetic field at a point on the axis of a circuit current loop uh, these two derivations both are very very important okay magnetic field due to a point on the circular loop and force between two parallel current carrying wire I, either one of them will definitely going to come next difference between diamagnetic paramagnetic and ferromagnetic materials now we are discussing about magnetism and matter small chapters but questions are very very predictable so if you prepare these few questions you are going to get the marks properties of magnetic field lines Gauss's law of magnetism magnetization and magnetic intensity the definitions and their relation magnetic susceptibility and relative permeability the relationship between them okay so based on this again you are going to get the question so uh, very simple and easy next electromagnetic induction again a small chapter but very very less number of question comes from this chapter it's less mean in the sense that the questions which are coming from this chapter are less Far Faraday's law and Lenz law expression for self inductance uh, coil magnet experiment and motional EMF expression for motional EMF based on that also you might get a question okay motional EMF means when a um, uh, a, a DC motor okay or AC motor okay so that is very very important next is alternating current now alternating current uh, in according to your bl board blueprint there are no two three marker question only one five marker uh, numerical question is going to come as well as some objective question uh, uh, um, MCQs as well as fill in the blanks but uh, maybe in your pre board you might find some question based on transformers anyway transformer is one important topic you should prepare it uh, because based on transformer you might see one M mcq question as well okay so transformer anyway you have to prepare otherwise five marker numerical question is going very very important from this chapter again you have to check my long form video where i have discussed all the important numericals from this chapter next uh, electromagnetic waves the smallest chapter different applications of emos if you just go through the applications of uh, uh, um, x-rays uv rays uh, infrared rays these are very very important okay microwaves so based on that you might get one question and displacement current expression for displacement current and modified maxwell ampere's law or modified uh, ampere's law or maxwell ampere's law that is also very very important expression and explain the terms so you have to write them uh, down so prepare displacement current as well now next is ray optics another very important chapter 12 marks is allotted for this chapter sign convention the diagram and explaining what is positive what is negative f is equal to r by 2 very important derivation total internal reflection condition for total internal reflection application of total internal reflection are important telescope is important uh, telescope microscope you can say uh, both properties of telescope and microscope 
okay based uh, questions will come next power of a lens and power of a lens based uh, numerical questions might come now uh, ray optics chapter is uh, not uh, clear that whether we are going to get a der derivation or whether we are going to get a numerical question from this chapter so you have to prepare few derivations at least prepare lens makers equation this is the most important derivation so you might see a question coming from this chapter so lens makers equation is the most important from this chapter other than that refractive index of a prism and refraction to a spherical surface uh, expression for uh, uv uh, and uh, unv and um, the radius of curvature for a spherical surface might also come but uh, anyway whatever you are doing remember the formulas as well because these formula based question if, if you see a question uh, most probably that will be based on this formula okay otherwise total internal reflection based question also came once uh, in, in your board exam so prepare that as well <coughs> it, that was given in your ncrt textbook the derivation is optional if you have prepared derivation from the previous chapters you can skip it but my intuition says that you are going to get a numerical question from this chapter now wave optics chapter again i said uh, if you are getting a, a numerical question from uh, ray optics then you are going to get a five marker derivation from wave optics and vice versa so if you are getting the derivation from ray optics then numerical questions will be from wave optics chapter so what are all the questions Huygens principle condition for maximum and minimum interference coherent and incoherent sources of light diffraction of light malus law uses of polaroids uses of polaroid is very important next is uh, five mark derivations law Laws of reflection using Huygens principle, laws of refraction using Huygens principle. So both Huygens principle derivation you have to practice. Uh, in your model question paper, uh, uh, they have given a condition for maximum and minimum, the derivation they have given. Okay, so you should practice that as well. Now, dual nature of radiation and matter. Uh, now, dual nature of radiation matter generally do, do not have any five marker question, but you should uh, do, do not worry about it because if a, a five marker question do come from this chapter, then it will be a two plus three format. Okay, mostly it will be two plus three format. And if you prepare all these topics, then you should be able to answer the five marker question as well. So, experimental Leonard and Hallowak observation. So, it can it can be asked as uh, write down the uh, observation observations of photoelectric effect or write down the Hallowak and uh, Leonard observation. So both are same question. So don't worry if you prepare this question, uh, one uh, preparation can be able to answer you two questions. Okay. So be confident. Einstein's explanation and Einstein's equation. This is also important. Definition, photoelectric effect, threshold frequency, work function, stopping potential. These definitions are important. Sometimes graph also can be asked. So prepare the graphs as well. Okay, so these are all the four topics. Next, uh, Einstein's equation and explanation, as I mentioned, Einstein's explanation along with equation can be given you as a five marker question or any two plus three. Some, sometimes the, what they do to, uh, to uh, definitions and then Einstein's explanation is asked. So prepare that as well, right? Next is atoms chapter. No derivations is going to come from this chapter. And if you have not prepared, you can skip this chapter. Okay, but small chapter, in my opinion, you should not skip. Three postulates of Bohr's atomic model, limitations of Bohr's atomic model, energy or of orbiting uh, hydrogen atom, de Broglie's explanation of the second uh, uh, postulate. This is slightly trickier question, but otherwise, all th first three questions are uh, easy and you should be able to answer it. Next, nuclei. Again, uh, nuclei uh, can um, be tricky. If you have not prepared, you can skip it. From this, binding energy based numericals are very popular, and you might get one question from this uh, portion. And features of nuclear force, properties of nuclear force, that should also you should prepare. Uh, difference between nuclear fission and fusion can also be asked. Okay, so these are the uh, important questions from this chapter. So I have not mentioned, but you should also uh, prepare. If you are preparing this chapter, difference between nuclear fission and fusion can be asked next is semiconductor uh, not that high high weightage but the questions are very predictable so you should not skip that chapter as well so band theory of solids energy gap and diagram you should prepare that intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors p type and n type, n -type semiconductors and their differences uh, biasing of a diode can be asked now uh, all the questions full wave and half wave rectifier 99 percent chance is that this will be a five marker question and easy to prepare not so difficult if you prepare it you should be able to secure uh, five marks for uh, guaranteed but 
I know some of the districts they will give you band diagram and uh, for p-type and n-type. Don't worry, band diagram for p-type and n-type, you are anyway studying in band theory of solids for three marker question. Along with that, they will give you the band diagram for uh, p-type and n-type. So that you have to add, okay? So band theory plus band diagram uh, is a combination five marker question. So band theory you are anyway studying. What is band theory? Uh, prepare that along with also see the band diagram for p-type and n-type. Together your preparation will be completed. And I uh, wish you all the best for your upcoming uh, uh, exam. Uh, also, if you want to download the PDF, as I mentioned, don't forget to join the WhatsApp channel uh, given in the description section in the bel uh, below. Also, if you have any other doubts, please don't forget to mention that in the comment section below. I'll be back very soon. Till then, bye.